after far-right rioters rushed to the streets in rage on Thursday, a knifeman attacked children in Dublin, and a crash worker intervened to stop him from hurting any more chilling. The incident left many people gravely injured. After running to the rescue of a five-year-old girl who was being attacked by a guy in his 50s, the woman, who was believed to be in her 30s, suffered severe injuries. According to Irish National Press sources, she may have prevented major injury to two other children, ages 5 and 6, with her actions. After the incident outside Gale Scoil Colestmuir in Pinell Square East, unverified rumors about the suspect's nationality went viral on Irish social media. The Irish capital was then inundated by anti-immigration demonstrators. The nationality of the suspect has not been disclosed, however the Goody are confident the event had nothing to do with terrorism. According to the Irish Independent, he is an Irish citizen who spent a considerable amount of time living in the nation despite not being born there. It is said that investigators are looking into the possibility that he had a psychotic episode before the NF. The event occurred in the city centre not long after 1 p.m. The five-year-old girl was stabbed in the neck, according to a source who spoke to the newspaper. However, the crash worker's actions might have prevented the other kids from getting more serious wounds. The statement read, she defended those children with all her strength. All she was doing was trying to protect those little kids, and it described how residents of the city center's heavily developed neighborhood witnessed what was happening after the children left the school. When brave bystanders intervened in the attack and tackled the perpetrator, Goody took him into custody. As he restrained the attacker, one of the men, a delivery rider who looked to be from Brazil, managed to toss the man's knife aside. There are reports that the attacker was hit in the face by a motorcycle helm. The civil unrest that ensued is attributed by police commanders to far-right thugs. Prominent far-right social media accounts have made unfounded assertions that the assailant is an imam. Ireland's president, Michael D. Higgins, has lashed out at rioters, calling them out for reprehensible use of weapons during the attacks. He declared, Every child and their family impacted by today's horrible attack outside Gale Squail Colestmuir in Dublin city centre is in our thoughts and prayers. The five-year-old girl and the staff member tending to her, who are both in critical condition in the hospital, are especially on our minds. We send our best wishes for a full recovery to each and every one of them. The Guddy should have our utmost cooperation in handling this incident. This appalling incident is a matter for the Goody. It is repugnant and deserves condemnation by all those who believe in the rule of law and democracy that it would be used or abused by groups with an agenda that attacks the principle of social inclusion. Helen McIntyre, Ireland's Minister of Justice, said that the rioters were in the city to create division and that the riots in Dublin were not something we have ever experienced. They do not care about these children who are in the hospital, she continued. Ensuring the safety and full healing of these youngsters should be our top concern and emphasis. Videos that are becoming viral on X show individuals setting fire to a tram, a double-decker bus, and many police cars before starting to raid stores, breaking in and taking numerous items. Riot police were called in to deal with the hundreds of hooligans who had transformed Dublin's Panel Square, Panel Street, and O'Connell Street into combat zones. Intense demonstrators can be seen in the video beating a man who looks to be a security guard, while others yell, protect our kids, as some protesters hurled bottles at the Gidi and others got into fights with them. The crowd chanted, get them out. In the footage, a demonstrator is seen hurling a garbage bag at Goody while another man shouts stop from in front of the police officers while holding out his hand. A man is heard begging in the background, saying, Nail lads, this is not on the F.A. Strix A. Strix A. Strix A. Strix A. Strix A. Strix Blue A few moments later, a furious crowd charges at the police, and one of the men yells, The Guardia could get seriously injured. This is just awful. It's unclear if anyone was hurt in the fire that destroyed a Gata patrol cruiser on Dublin's Ponell Street. On the other side of the street, there was another fire, and someone had set fire to a damaged Lewis tram. Videos depict a double-decker bus burning on O'Connell Street in the heart of the city, with hundreds of demonstrators staring at the flames. In another video, bus number 13 is seen being driven away while police pursue it. It looks like another bus has been taken.
Protesters were spotted kicking and hurling objects at police cars as the scenes became more and more violent. In one video, a demonstrator filled street passes in front of a retreating Gata car while someone yells for them to smash. Videos showed rioters jumping on the police cars and organizing to try to flip them over, as well as setting them on fire and defacing them. Additionally, video shows demonstrators firing what appear to be fireworks in the direction of the officers as they line up to block a street. After smashing store windows with metal bars, protesters stormed into an O'Connell Street footlocker and began looting. On the well-known street in Dublin, people tossed bottles at the cop. Thugs broke windows of a Holiday Inn Express hotel located in the city centre, and a McDonald's was also attacked, according to the Reuters news agency. The hotel, located on a popular tourist strip in Dublin, has been the subject of unverified accusations on social media purporting to be sheltering asylum seekers. At around 7.30 p.m., guests were observed looking out of windows on the hotel's higher levels while protesters stood outside. For a response, Malinline reached out to IHG, the parent company of Holiday Inn. A significant section of the throng was dispersed into neighboring roadways by officers using a series of coordinated pressures. As violence erupted after an incident outside a school on Thursday night, Gata Commissioner Drew Harris asked for calm heads and issued a warning against Miss Infirmian. He described disgraceful scenes in Dublin. He claimed that the unrest in Dublin this evening is the result of a wholly insane faction motivated by far-right ideology. Several Gata vehicles have been damaged, he said. Even though the Gata press office had declared the stabbing attack to be a standalone incident just hours earlier, Harris refused to rule out the possibility that it was tied to terrorism. Refusing to declare it was unrelated to terrorism, he stated he was not ruling anything out. Gotti are looking into this man's background, who he is, where he's from, how he came to Ireland, one source said. Any potential connection between him and the injured kids or students who went to the school will also be investigated. We have to give those who stepped in due credit. I can tell you now that they saved lives, but they gave that man a rough time to make sure he wouldn't rise up and hurt other people. I think there's disgraceful scenes in terms of a huge investigation, the upkeep of a scene, and the gathering of evidence, Harris continued. There is a completely insane hooligan group that is motivated by far-right ideology, and there is also a disruptive tendency that has participated in severe violence. We are allocating resources to address that, and it will be handled appropriately. I've given our resources here complete instructions on how to make arrests and bring criminals to justice. We asked people to act responsibly and not to listen to the misinformation and rumors that are circulating on social media as part of our responsibility to ensure that we police the streets. The facts are being established, but there is still uncertainty about many of the rumors and malicious people are spreading in UMO. Immigrants or emigrants are the cause of the violence outside a school in Pinell Square East earlier today, according to a number of influential accounts on X, formerly Twitter. Irish Justice Minister Helen McIntyre released the following statement. We are all shocked by the horrific attack that occurred in Dublin city centre today. It was an appalling crime. And Goddess Iokana are investigating this crime with a specific line of inquiry and are not looking for anyone else. The offender will face legal consequences. But we cannot and will not accept the horrors we are seeing in our city centre this evening. We cannot let a horrible event be used as a platform for a violent and manipulative element to cause damn. We share the same opinion after speaking with local TDs from both sides of the dale. We will not put up with those exploiting a horrible occurrence to sow discord. I would ask for calm in the city centre while Angotasio Canada does their job. Attacks on members of the agency must be strongly denounced and will face harsh consequences. Tonight, I am having a meeting with the Gata Commissioner to talk about the city's policing strategy. Above all, we need to keep in mind the true tragedy of today and let the investigations play out. Three youngsters dropped to the ground one after the other, according to witnesses, and a five-year-old girl is reportedly undergoing emergency medical attention as a result of the assault, according to police. Serious injuries were sustained by a lady in her 30s and one of the three children, along with two other children and a man in his 50s, according to the police.
The five were brought to the hospital. According to police, the man in his 50s, who is undergoing medical treatment in Dublin for his injuries, is presently a person of interest, and they are not currently searching for anyone else. Witnesses said that outside of a school, onlookers overwhelmed the attacker and managed to disarm him. After the event in Dublin city center, Tishik Leo Varad Carr revealed that a suspect has been detained by the guy. The children went for a stroll. Suddenly, one of them collapsed to the ground, followed by another, and yet another, a witness to the incident told the Irish Independent. He claimed that as soon as the man began to run by, a bunch of people jumped on him. An angry altercation erupted on Panel Street, close to the stabbing scene after the attacks, with a guy being accused of defending the crime. The event happened next to a school, which infuriated me. Following the major security incident that happened on Ponell Square just after 1.30 p.m., Irish police stated that five individuals had been hurt in total, and Goddess Iocana continues to have an open mind at this early stage of the investigation, Superintendent Liam Gerrity said at a press conference in Dublin, adding that they are certain there is no terrorist connection. And Goddess Iocana stated, at this point, our inquiries satisfy us that there is no terror-related activity or related to any wider aspects in relation to this mat. This is a very early stage of the investigation, having only been underway for four hours. We need to ascertain the reasons behind that, as it seems to be a standalone attack. Superintendent Charity stated that he believes a knife was used in the attack, although he was unable to elaborate on the specifics of the wound. He continued, saying, and Goddess Iocana are still looking into all the details of a violent assault that happened on Panel Square East this afternoon just after 1.30 p.m. According to preliminary reports, a man attacked many people on Panel Square East. Five victims have been transported to Dublin area hospitals. Three little toddlers, an adult female, and an adult male are among the casualties. A five-year-old girl is undergoing emergency medical treatment at Kai Temple Street after suffering severe injuries. In the event on the square in the north inner city of the Irish capital, one of the three children, a girl, and the woman suffered serious injuries. Less serious injuries were sustained by the guy and the other two kids, according to the Gundy, who also mentioned that they had spoken with the parents of the injured kids. The police stated that they were not currently searching for anyone else and that they are pursuing a definite line of inquiry. Local sources said that a sizable knife had been taken from the area. The event happened outside of Gale Scoyle Colaced Muir, a primary school. According to Irish National Station RTE, police are investigating the attacker's motive but do not believe it was carried out by terrorists. Witnesses claimed that other individuals intervened and took the man's weapon. According to one, they witnessed the suspect being removed from a giant knife and placed under trees across from Rotunda Hospital, which is located in the center of the plot. Another described how she and another onlooker used their knives to disarm him. I just crossed the road to help out without thinking, Siobhan Kearney said, calling the situation totally bedlam to RT. The man was strapped to the ground by multiple persons, and two children and the mother were carried back into the school from where they had come. I circled him with an American woman, and we agreed to wait for the god. The youngsters, according to Kearney, were around six years old, and she thought the injured woman was either a teacher or a bystander. Additional witnesses reported witnessing a small child, about four years of age, receiving medical care from a bystander. I saw a little girl who had blood all over her and a woman treating her, he claimed. Everything was just in disarray. Everyone was crying. What the parents are going through is beyond my comprehend. City Councilor Niall Ring of Dublin reported that he had had a conversation with a woman who was en route to the Stardust Inquiry. He claimed that the woman was mandated to get the knife off the attacker after confronting him with another man. I understand he was a delivery rider after seeing the crying. Those two citizens are true heroes, they likely stopped even more bloodshed. A God official stated, five casualties have been taken to various hospitals in the Dublin region. Three small toddlers, an adult female, and an adult male are among the dead. Two of the children are receiving treatment for less serious injuries, while one youngster, a female, has suffered critical injuries. The parents of all three injured children are in contact with an goddess Iohan. The street was blocked off, 
but parents were able to enter with the help of the GADA to go up to the school and see their kids, according to an RDE reporter on the scene. He claimed that parents were frantically trying to connect. Following the incident in Dublin, a five-year-old boy and a six-year-old girl received treatment for less serious injuries, said Superintendent Liam J. The boy has since been discharged from Kai Crumlin, the speaker stated. The parents of every child are receiving support from Angada Siogan. At Mater Hospital, an adult female in her 30s is receiving treatment for severe injuries. At a hospital in the Dublin area, a 50-year-old male adult is also receiving treatment for significant injuries. The scene is still closed off at this time, and a technical assessment is being conducted. Mountjoy Gotta Station has set up an incident room, and a senior investigating officer has been assigned. And Gotta Siokena is investigating along a specific path. And Gotta Siokena is not currently looking for any other person but they are interested in this male in his 50s, the statement reads. A police representative had earlier stated that they were attending to a serious incident. Several emergency services are providing assistance to the Gada Siokana who are currently responding to a serious incident on Panel Square East, the statement read. The appalling attack on three innocent children and women in Dublin today shocked Ireland's Minister of Justice, Helen McEntee, into deep shock. During this incredibly trying time, our thoughts are with everyone who has been injured, especially with the children, their parents, and families. I understand that Goody are following a specific line of inquiry and are not looking for any other person at this time, the woman continued. The Irish Premier declared, We are all shocked by the incident which has taken place in Pannell Square. Several people, including some children, have sustained injuries. We are sending them and their families our best wishes and prayers. The Minister for Justice and I have been in communication, and she is providing me with updates. In this case, the facts are still being uncovered. The emergency services arrived on the scene in a matter of minutes after dispatching. For that, I am grateful to him. Gotti have taken into custody a suspect and are investigating along a specific path. Several ambulances and other emergency vehicles were stationed near Panel Square, notably Panel Square East, according to images posted online. There are several educational institutions located all around the square. The primary school Gale Square Calais Muir appears to be the location of the cluster of emergency response vehicles captured in the scene's photos. According to RTE, authorities had cordoned off the area and were still attempting to ascertain exactly what had occurred. The road's lanes are all blocked. It is believed that an inquest into the Stardust nightclub disaster, which occurred in 1981 when a deadly fire destroyed the Stardust nightclub in Artane, Dublin, killing 48 people, was taking place close by at the same time that the attack was taking place. A number of young males stepped in to help as today's attack was happening, according to an inquest witness who was also there for the attack. Emergency personnel reportedly arrived on the site in a matter of minutes, 